Hey guys, my name is Jason and I just got back from Overland Expo. I had so much fun. It was so cool to see all these different vendors. The one thing I got to see that I thought was really cool is checking out some of the brand new rooftop tents. This is going to be a list of my favorite emerging rooftop tents that I saw there. Some are new, some are prototypes, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up guys, this is Ben with Free Spirit Recreation out at the Overland Expo up here in Loveland, Colorado. Wanted to show you one of our new tents for 2023. This is the High Country V2 series. Um, so we've made this tent into a double hard shell with a skirt. Um, this is our family tent. So a little bit about Free Spirit Recreation. We're family owned and operated out of Golden, Colorado. Important obviously for us to have a family tent. And this one comes in at 85 inches um, by about 104 inches long. So bigger than a Cal King bed. Uh, largest tent on the market. Few unique features to Free Spirit, tri-layer material, um, true four season camping, extremely large windows for those 360 degree views. Standard in all of our tents come LED lights, storage pox pockets, um, vents, little air vents up in the corners, um, shoe bags. This tent comes in at about nine inches thick. So version one from High Country was about 15 inches. Uh, version two is gonna be about nine inches thick. So now that we get a chance to talk about the mattress a little bit, I wanna tell you guys, this is a prototype. Um, we do constant changes to the tents when we get them in. We wanna make them better. We wanna hear your guys' feedback uh, and make the necessary changes. So the mattress in the high country is currently about two inches thick, but we are most likely gonna be going to the new Aircore mattress from Free Spirit uh, to make this thing just extremely comfortable, allow you to store some bedding in it once we suck that air foam uh, memory mattress down to about a quarter of an inch. We can walk over here and take sure. a look at the new Aircore mattress. Oh. What you'll see here, these are cloud toppers. They're just mattress toppers just for added comfort. But the new Aircore mattress is 10 centimeters thick, which is about four inches. Um, and when you compress it down, it gets down to about a quarter of an inch. You can put as much fill in it. If you want it to be more like an air mattress, pump it up really tight. If you want to feel a little bit more memory foam, just deflate it a little bit. They'll come with a uh, little powered USB pump about 30 seconds to inflate them and deflate them. So another one of the things that we're looking here at Free Spirit is um, just low profile, uh, how it attaches to your vehicle, the ease of setup. Right now we've got just an 80-20 bar underneath that uses a standard M8 hex bolt. Um, we are probably gonna change this to a lower profile mount with more surface area, um, just to drop that you know, rack to rack dimension down a little bit. Something that we've had requested and, and something that as we listen to people and take the feedback and make the proper changes, we think that's gonna just be a better option for people. Um, the other thing that you'll see on the underside of this tent, since it is a double hard shell, we've got drain plugs in the bottom um, in each corner and then down the center. So if water does get into it um, or underneath the tent skin, it's just gonna drain out the bottom. The other thing that you'll see with our tent skins, and this is standard on all of our tents, they're encased in a waterproof fabric. So even if water gets under here, this is waterproof fabric, and it's just gonna work its way to the drain holes and drain out. And you'll see that standard on all of our tents. So one of the big things for us at Free Spirit is warranty and being able to take care of our customers. So what you guys are gonna see in our designs are, if, if you ruin a tent skin, um, if you bend a pole, uh, we make everything to where you can take it off and replace it. These tents are getting expensive. Uh, when you're spending $4,000 and you break it, you don't wanna have to spend another $4,000 to fix it. So uh, everything is easily attached, it's removable. So rip this tent skin, give us a call, take care of you. You can get a whole new tent skin, um, just clip it in and you're ready to go. So it's, it's really designed around warranty purposes and knowing you guys are using these things. Um, so if you do have an accident, you do break it, um, they're designed for you to be able to fix it. Yeah, so one of the biggest requests that we get and probably one of the things that people like the most about our tents is that the 360 degree views that, that we take into account. Um, we're doing extremely large windows, not only for ventilation, but also to you know enjoy the place that you're at, see where you're at. Um, Tri-layer windows on the inside, so if it does get a little chilly, 
you can button it up and, and, and stay warm inside your tent. But really large windows throughout this tent, um, four windows, so you got the large one on the back, two equally big windows on the side, and then a big front entrance. So as we said earlier in the video, guys, everything, all of our tents come standard with LED light strips. One of the nice things is you can unvelcro these LED light strips, use them around camp. Just a USB cell phone battery charger will power these guys. Um, so nice feature that we add in our tents, um, standard. The other thing you'll see in this tent is a ventilation hole up top. So just easily, um, you can just pull it down off the Velcro. This is just gonna allow you to get a little more ventilation in your tent, help with some of that condensation. Um, air goes through the rain fly and can pass through so it can stay in that circular motion. Um, we also have vents up here in the corners, you can see from the outside. And one of the requests that our customers asked is that we can close these vents from the inside. So we added a Velcro strip. If you do wanna close these vents completely, you can. You can also keep them open from the outside and open them here on the inside. So plenty of ventilation in this tent. Really important to us being a big tent, sleeping multiple people in here. You can sleep this way, you can sleep the long way. So very versatile tent for everything that you guys are doing, getting out there with the family, or if you just want a large tent and a lot of space. We're really excited about this tent. We think it's gonna be a great addition to show you guys where we're going as a company and just what we're doing to keep everybody in mind. So High Country V2, look for it early in 2023. And yeah, we're excited about it. So check out Free Spirit. Hey everyone, it's Luke here with Anti Shanty. We've got Oxfoot Outdoors in the booth checking out our newest product, which is the RTD. The RTD stands for Rooftop Dwelling. It is a cargo box as well as a portable shelter. It's ultra light and it is ultra awesome. We love it and we're excited to show you some features on it today. So what's unique about this system is it is a cargo box as well. So when the roof is down, you have approximately eight to 12 inches to store gear. So skis, snowboards, surfboards, camping pads, sleeping bags, all the stuff that you wanna keep in there, all safe and secure. You just lock it down and it is functioning as a cargo box. When you get to camp, you pop the roof open and you've got a fully hard-sided insulated shelter with windows, blackout screens, bug screens, and lockable doors. Yeah, so this unit here is the first unit ever in the flesh. It is a full-blown prototype. It weighs in roughly around 300 pounds, and we have plans to bring that down uh, by a, a significant portion. It is mountable to most vehicles with the roof rack. Obviously check with the manufacturer of the vehicle for weight limits. However, if you've got crossbars, a full platform, it's got a T-slot mounting system that will allow you to mate it with most rack systems. So when the roof pops down, basically both leaves of the wall fold in and then the back door folds into itself. So nested, all three panels nest up in the top portion of the roof, which gives you easy access to the cargo bin section. We're gonna have uh, crossbars available as well. So things like surfboards, uh, maybe a kayak, canoe, whatever you wanna mount on top you can do that. The materials on the RTD are very similar to what we feature on our full-size trailers. It's primarily constructed out of aluminum. It's got a sheet of aluminum, a sheet of stiffener plastic, a poly -iso foam sandwiched in the middle there, and then the same thing on the opposite side. So another sheet of uh, corrugated plastic as well as another sheet of aluminum, which gives you five layers of material for a great thermal break. Yeah, so this is the inside of the dwelling. It is a very unique space. It's, as we mentioned, fully hard sided. So it kind of has that tree house feeling to it. What I really like about it is the ability to sit up against a wall and have a little backrest going. Uh, it's lined with a, a sea deck material that gives a really comfortable cushion for kind of crawling around in here uh, and then kind of protects the, the base from things like skis, uh, surfboard fins, that kind of stuff you don't want getting scratched. And yeah, it fits two full uh, X-PED sleeping pads in here, or you can run one and then have space for gear. It's totally configurable to how you'd like to do it. If you want power up here, you can bring up a little 
uh, solar batter battery and plug in a heat blanket or charge devices. It's got a ton of storage and the other night we were hanging out in here in some rain and some wind and it's it's just super quiet, super comfortable and we're really looking forward to bringing it up to some ski resorts as a little base camp chalet in the in the parking lot. We love the trailers and there's a space and time for them but the the parking lot and the freeway and it, on a powder day is usually not not that space and time for them. Yeah. So this is going to be a great alternative option for just making quick camp and having some instant shelter with storage in the base of it. All right, so here we have the 23-0 A2, Armadillo A2. This is actually the left, which means it opens on the left side of the vehicle, being the driver's side of the vehicle. This is gonna come in another size range, which is the A3. The difference in size internally is gonna be a 56 inch wide mattress versus the 72 inch wide mattress. So you'll have a full size bed to roughly a king size bed. On the A3, you've got the aluminum hard shell with the mounting rails that can hold 50 to 60 pounds roughly. So if you wanna throw load bars or a roof rack up there, you can mount traction boards, solar panels, any accessories like that. Everything about this tent is going to meet all of the needs of any sort of overlander or camper. It's got crazy quick deployment that rivals any standard clamshell tent that you have. The bottom platform folds in and then the bungee straps on the bottom will secure the fabric as you pull the tent closed. It's got our proprietary light suppression technology on the inside. The black LST lining is going to keep the sun out so you don't wake up to it in the morning. You can take your midday naps and it will actually keep the tent temperatures cooler on the inside. The rebound foam is going to come back to its original shape so you don't fall into any ruts in your mattress at night. This is actually a separate accessory, but that's our universal tray table right there. So the, the brand venting is just a nice touch, but actually on the inside, I don't know if you can see it, there's just a rolled up panel that will bring this down to a, a solid fabric so you can block out any light on that side. You can actually see it over here. It'll just zip shut and roll up and tie in right there. So on this rain fly, It'll actually roll up. If you pop out these spring poles, you can roll it completely up over the tent and utilize the skylight in the tent if you want to get a nice moonlight view. So if you take a look up at the top in the tent, it actually comes with the telescoping snow pole with the additional attachment to help put pressure up on the ceiling. So it will help divert any snowfall that comes, any rain. It'll just run right off of your tent. It goes through the hoop in the back to help hold it up and snaps into the front hoop right there. And then you can see that's where the moon roof is. You can slide that additional vertical pole back if you want to utilize the moon roof or take it down completely. So if you look to your right, that is a standard feature. The LED strip is just USB powdered, powered. That will come in and you can actually, right yeah. yes. Sorry, I didn't see this. You can snap it off of that pole and you can put it anywhere that it'll fit on any of the other poles. It just pops right off so you can move that light around the tent. If you bring up just a small power station or run it into whatever you might have going for you, it's got some miscellaneous pockets that you see where you can drop in power supplies if you need to up in the top right. Hi everybody, my name is Ed Ruzik. I'm from Intrepid Camp Gear and I'd like to introduce you to the new, our newest tent, the Geo 2.0. Key feature on this tent is the hinge that separates the top of the hard shell. About two years of design and research to get a patentable proprietary hinge that separates the two. And what happens is you get about 36% more space by hinging the top of the hard top. It's very upright and so you can get your head in there, you can get your feet in there, you, there's plenty of storage in there. And it's, uh, like I said, it's about 36% more uh, volume of room than you get in your typical clamshell rooftop tent. And that makes a lot of difference. Also get four feet of headroom at the top. You really notice that when you're changing your clothes, how much more room there is in there. On top of all of that, when the tent collapses down, it's the exact same footprint of any other hardtop rooftop tent. Yeah, it's so it's, it's only seven inches in depth. Yeah. yeah. So basically, the footprint here is going to be how tall the uh, roof it's is. It's hard to say right, from the uh, geometry here, but yeah. Exactly. Really cool. Really cool. So as you can see inside the tent, there's enormous amount of space. I can even get up on my knees and still have head room. The, uh, lots of storage up front. We put an organizer pouch there. We've got the uh, bungee cord to store your bedding, other things you want to get out of the way, backpacks and so on. 
Another thing that we really love is the uh, Stargazer skylight. So at nighttime, you lay down, you can still watch the stars. One thing we tried to focus on was just feeling like you were outside when you were in the tent. And so that's why we have these three giant openings. And the openings all come with a mosquito net, a clear plastic enclosure so you can look outside even when the weather's bad, and a blackout um, waterproof fabric. All right, so one thing I did notice, um, uh, we're looking under the mattress, and you guys had like a kind of condensation type deal going on there. I mean, yes, we've got a condensation moisture management mat in here, and it really lets air flow underneath the mat because as anybody who's used the rooftop tent before knows that you do get condensation inside and it pools up underneath your mattress. Yeah. The only way to get it out is to wipe it wipe it out with a towel, but with this mat, you get an airflow in there and allows it to evaporate. It also adds a little more cushioning to your mattress. Each, each corner of the tent has a, a condensation uh, airflow management system where you can push out the kickstand and you lock it down and it allows the air to come in and it, even if it's pouring rain, you won't get any rain in there. It's rainproof. But it, if you're all sealed up in a rainstorm, you're still going to get airflow. Yep. So additionally, we added a moisture management and airflow system on the top. So you can zip it shut. If you open it up, you've got ventilation to the outside. That's also um, held up with a kickstand that can be removed in a rainstorm. Yeah, we have all the zippers and in the corner here on the side. So you can bunch up all your uh, layers and uh, we put in a mesh pocket here so you can just tuck that right in there and that stays out of the way and if it's windy you don't have any problems flapping around you don't have to lash it up. So the great thing about the hard shell rooftop tent is how easy it is to put up and down but when you put it down all the air inside the tent has to tries to balloon out and what you end up doing is going around the edges tucking it in as you're trying to close it. We solved that problem by putting a fiberglass batten system that's sewn into the tent and it's set at an angle so that when you close the tent it naturally folds in and you don't have to do all that tucking. The big openings really allow you to either enter you know here the back or the other side so you really get um, you know very customizable tent to how you want to get in what's the easiest way to do it. Crossbars are sold separately. They're about $250. They're made specifically for the Intrepid Camp Gear tent. And uh, the great thing about them is they hold about 300 pounds, which is pretty much on the high side. Uh, and what we like about this tent, what we try to display here, is that you can open up the tent without removing your water, your kayak, your, your bikes, uh, whatever it is that you have up there. And so. If you arrive at your destination, you're not biking or kayaking till the next day. You don't have to take those things off in order to open up your roof tent.